guys so today i'm coming to do my three month lock update and i feel like it's been forever since i posted a video because i haven't posted a video since my two month update so i haven't posted a video in a month like school is my whole life right now basically so yeah that's why i'm not really posting on my channel right now but as soon as i get a little break i'll be back on it okay i'm gonna update you guys on my locks how my journey's been going so to start off remember how i was dodging this like i was like the longer the better i knew this was coming but i didn't know i didn't want it to come this soon so yeah i've been experiencing shrinkage with my locks my twist <laughs> my locks so um especially in the back more in the back and the middle the yeah more in the back and the middle because the middle section of my hair is the longest so whenever i see shrinkage or growth uh, i would notice but the middle is really short right now the back is really short right now let me just show you guys a piece look how short that is look at this look how short that is compared to where when i started and this lock this lock i think it's gonna be the first one to be a fully mature lock look at it it's almost like let me come up to you look based on how my hair is locking up like where it's locking up i know the back section will be the first to lock up i don't know why this always happens but this happened the first time i locked my hair too i don't know why but <laughs> I just wanted everything to lock up at the same time, but the back section is locking up quicker than anywhere else. The second thing, most of the time I retwist my hair when I wash my hair, which is every other week. Now, I wash my hair every other week. So, let's say I'm doing the same thing I did last time. I only retwist my hair like once a month now. So, I think that's a good thing for me because I really don't want really skinny locks so <laughs> i'm trying to stay away from retwisting even though i love the fresh looking look but i'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible because i do not want thin locks i don't want it <laughs> thing is and this scared the heck out of me like i usually wash my hair at night and I use uh do you know the turby the turby is it called the turby twist thing it's like a microfiber like wrap for your hair i'll show you a picture right here but that's how it looks and i usually use that to dry my hair and then i let my hair air dry so as i said i always wash my hair at night so when i'm going to sleep my hair is semi-wet it's not fully dry <laughs> so um i didn't really think that was a problem because that's what i used to do with my loose natural hair but this scared the heck out of me and let me know that listen you have locks now you don't have loose natural hair or like the moisture doesn't really go away that quickly as your loose hair right so um I think it was the next morning when I woke up to retwist my hair because I usually wash my hair at night and then let it dry and then in the morning I kind of spray my hair and then retwist it guys when well after I wash my hair I noticed a smell there was a smell like you know when you have wet clothes and it smells like mildew or something so I noticed that smell after I finished washing my hair but I was like maybe it's something i don't know but it's not my hair I, that's the last thing i could think about that this mildew smell was coming from my hair so when i went to go retwist my hair i noticed in the front i don't know if you noticed in my um last video the one where i was styling my hair i don't know if you noticed in the back when i showed you like there was some white stuff on one of these ones at the end at the back and i noticed that same white stuff on the front perimeter like around my edges 
So you see where the hair would, um, where the hair was budding. I noticed some white stuff right there. So I was like, damn, build up. But I haven't really been using any products to get build up. The only thing I used, the first thing I used was the Eco Styler Gel. And then after that, I've been using Aloe Vera Gel. So I was like, where is this build up coming from? So, and I was using conditioner. So I was like, maybe it's a conditioner. So I stopped using a conditioner after that. No more conditioner for me because I just, I don't know. But anyways, when I went to look in my locks, like I used the magnifying side of the mirror and I looked into my locks, it looked like straight up mildew, like mold. It looked like straight up mold. And I was like, no, oh no, 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 no. I was this close to taking my locks out. This close, because I wasn't trying to be that girl with mildew smelling hair. So I was like, uh-uh, I'm taking my locks out. I'm starting them fresh or maybe not doing them again. I'm not about to live with mildew hair. Like, no, I'm not having this. My battery died, sorry. Yes, yeah, so after seeing that, I did not want to retwist my hair again. I was just over it. I'm like, I'm taking my locks out tomorrow or this week or whatever. But after that, I just took a breather, came back to the mirror, took a comb, and started comb, trying to comb whatever was in there out. I managed to comb most of the stuff out, but I was still like, what the heck is this? Cause it was in the front row and it was in this lock right here, the last one. So I was like, what the heck is this? And then I noticed like whenever I take a shower, the perimeter of my hair gets wet, the back of my hair gets wet and I never really, you know, I'm just used to having loose natural hair. So I never really pay attention to that. So now when I take a shower, I kind of pat that down to make sure it's dry. And from what I've noticed, eventually this mold or mildew went away. Yeah, so after seeing that, I was like, maybe it's my shampoo, maybe it's a conditioner. So I changed out my shampoo. I was using head and shoulder shampoo. I received this from Influencer, free, complimentary for testing purposes. So <laughs> after I saw, after I, yeah, so I stopped using my head and shoulder shampoo because that was the only one I had. So I just was like, I'm just gonna finish this and then I buy something new for my locks. So after that, I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna buy something new right away so I can wash my hair the um, weekend coming. Rasta Lock Twist. It's the Jamaican Mango and Lime Tingle Shampoo. It's the one that I used to use the first time I had locks and I never used to have problems with any mold or buildups or anything like that. So this was completely new to me. And I'm using the
The simple things are your blessings. Simple things, them are your blessings, your blessings. Simple things are your blessings. And you don't notice your blessings.